All right, folks. Um, let's take a look at how to use this part sim tool uh, to create a circuit schematic. Um, this is a circuit schematic we'll use uh, to, you know, create probe points and simulate and figure out what voltage and currents are going to be um, later on. Um, when you first open part sim, you're going to see something like this. We're going to create a very simple just series resistor circuit um, and use that in this example. Um, now, over on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a bunch of uh, menus here. Um, they've got huge lists of like actual circuit parts produced by different companies that you can use to build your circuits, and and then you know hit a button and purchase you know everything in your bill of materials. Uh, for what we're going to do, um, all we really are going to use are these generic parts right now while we're just simulating and playing around with this uh, tool. Um, and there's a couple different things uh, that we'll need. Um, I'm going to start with the voltage source of my circuit. So I'm going to scroll down until I see sources. I'm going to click on sources. Um, and there's a couple different types of sources. Um, and what I'm going to use is uh, a AC voltage source. We're not actually going to use the AC side of this, but it'll let us do everything that we want it to do. So I'm just going to click, uh, stick it there. Um, you can edit a couple uh, options on the right hand side of your screen. Um, all we're going to do is use the DC voltage. So I want to make sure that I uncheck enable AC because uh, we just want the DC values. Um, we don't need a transient source, so I'm going to click confirm. Um, and the nice thing about these voltage sources is you can always just double click them. Uh, you know, if you click somewhere else, uh, it'll open that menu back up and we can type in a new uh, voltage. Uh, so for this particular example, I'm going to use 20 volts as my DC voltage. Click confirm, and you'll see it's updated the value of this voltage source V1 to 20 volts. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Um, a resistor is a type of passive circuit element. So if I click passives, um, you'll see you know, the type of circuit things that you probably have dealt with in physics. Capacitors, inductors, resistors. Uh, we're just going to play around with resistors here. So I'm going to click and make a resistor. Um, I'm actually going to click this guy. If you hit R on your keyboard, that'll rotate that around so it looks a little more uh, like we expect. I'm going to do the same thing, add another resistor, hit R on my keyboard, and move that around. Now, obviously, these things aren't connected. Uh, connecting uh, these circuits and parts in is pretty easy. Uh, you click one edge of a part, click the other node, it's going to connect those two things together. And you can do that for all these connecting these two circuits as well. Um, now, you may be tempted to just you know, go around and connect your circuit like this. And if you do that, um, SPICE programs don't typically uh, like that. What we need to add is a ground or a zero volt reference for our circuit. Um, so I'm going to go down here to ports. And you'll see um, there's only one port to select from. That's my ground. I'm going to click and put my ground here. Um, and this is going to ground my voltage source. So my voltage source is starting at 0 volts and providing 20 volts of DC current. And I'm going to go ahead and ground the other side over here as well. Oops, let me hit escape. Click ground, stick my ground in here. And there I've got a complete circuit that over a little bit. Now I start at ground, I have a voltage source, so I'm increasing my voltage by 20 volts. I've got my two resistors, and then I'm coming back to the ground, and these are, of course, the same ground. So that's pretty much the basics of creating uh, a circuit diagram using a SPICE tool like PartSim. Um, the next step, we'll take a look at how to actually create those voltage probes and current probes that'll let us see what the voltage and currents are at different parts of our circuit.